Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, you know summer is here when invitations start pouring in for uh, weekend markets and nights spent outside. This season, we are embracing a carefree boho-inspired style to update our look. It's all about relaxed silhouettes and soft fabrics and showing off a little skin. <laughs> with an off-the-shoulder gypsy top paired with printed wide leg pants. Mm -hmm. With us today is Marissa Krauss-Swart, fashion editor at Woman24 and style expert. Hi. Welcome, Welcome, Marissa. Lovely to have you with Thank us. Thank you. Let's start off with you for a second. You're a fashion editor. Does that mean you always have to be on point? Are there days when you just want to wear sweatpants and sneakers? <laughs> oh, your wardrobe is be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I find it quite like I have a thing of confident dressing, you know. You have to dress the part. So every day I kind of like I dress nicely or I think I dress nicely because I want to feel good. Yeah. So I feel like I wear sweatpants at home, you know, when I'm at home. But when I'm out, when I get outside in the morning and I don't immediately want to run back, you know, in, indoors because I hate my outfit, I'm like, this is going to be a good day. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's quite important. Yeah. I don't own sweat, sweatpants because if I had them, I would wear them and I don't want to wear them. I, I have a few. I have a few. <laughs> Tell us about trends. I mean, how do you pick which trends to follow? And should we be following trends? Well, the thing is, I think you should always, don't be a slave to trends, definitely. Yeah. That's what I try to do. I like a classic wardrobe. Like, you know, you have your denims, like classic denim A-line skirts, nice high-waisted denims, like your Levi, Levi vintage jeans, um, maybe classic white shirts, you know, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. But then always, every season, bring in a few different trends um, and maybe invest in good fabrics, you know, also, um, when you're going for you know, those classic pieces. I like to play with jewellery, especially when you go for trends. So just incorporate a few fun jewellery pieces or a fun, fun few pieces of footwear that yeah. are trendy and new with your classic wardrobe. Yeah. Well, summer's just arrived and it seems to be boho season. Yes. And I mean, at best, I, we, I think we're stylish people, but fashion Absolutely. can get really confusing yeah, because there's so many trends that are just intersecting at the same time. And you can't follow yeah. them all. Yeah. yeah, so what are your main classics? What should every girl have in her wardrobe? And especially for this summer. Yeah. For this summer, I would say, like, I also love this boho, gypsy, you know, peasant top, mm. peasant dress. Don't get too many because, I mean, this 70s thing is going to pass. Yeah. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I really like this, uh, this season. Me too. But I think definitely invest, go for your classic, like, say, Classic A-line skirt, high-waisted jeans, and then pair it with like a peasant uh, ch top, a gypsy top, or get a nice like blue and white gypsy dress. That's always really nice. Mm -hmm. You can pair that with like lace-up sandals. You can dress it up with heels even in the evening. You can go it with espadrilles. You know, mm -hmm. so many different choices. And the gypsy tops, especially, or peasant tops, that for festivals with, like, cut-off jeans mm -hmm. can be really nice. No, I'm a sucker for You're a, a festival. festival girl. I'm a full-on <laughs> festival girl. But, I mean, Kate Moss almost ruined a festival for me. Oh, really? Because I, don't, I can't go to a festival in, like, little Daisy Dukes and those wellies. <laughs> uh, like you, you don't. Can. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> But what should we be looking at for this I festival think definitely, season? So get that uh, peasant top, but also the off-the-shoulder top that we love so much. Oh. Go for like a, a classic one, I would say. Like I love the white ones, definitely yeah. like crisp white. That's almost, you know, it's like a white shirt. So it will always kind of be in trend. So you can always wear it again. And it's so beautiful in Mediterranean. And I mean, you can really work that, like say how Holy yeah, Lama also done. worked it. You can yeah. wear it with like high-waisted pants, with a skirt with so many different things and style it for different occasions yeah. um, and I also love these bell sleeves they're also yes. my favorite thing at the moment because um, it you, it can also be worn with anything and I mean just a simple white tee like this yeah. can really work with like a high-waisted jean or a skirt and then you can wear it to the beach even or can you can style it up for the evening with sure. heels and different jewelry and makeup yeah. yeah I see the trendy kids are mixing up their prints which is quite a, yes. a, a dangerous thing to do if you're not quite sure what you're doing what are the key elements to keep in mind when you try to do that? Prints are really difficult, I would say. Um, but what I really like to do is either go for like a really... Say if you want to wear a, a printed top and a printed skirt or like wide leg pants, go for like a classic print, um, like say a black and white stripe or like a simple print, and then style that with a more bold, you know, 
interesting print, I would say, colourful. So just to get that nice, you know, juxtaposition going. Um, yeah, or you can break it up even with like, I like, say, a printed shirt, printed skirt, and then a white top underneath, nice. just to kind of break that yeah. up. Well, thank you so much. I'm definitely going to have my, my festival look on fleek. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this season. Thank you so much for coming Pleasure. to YouTube Loved. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to rock summer in the coolest peasant tops, printed maxi dresses, and of course, no, I'm never going to do patchwork day. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> <laughs> we know that summer's on its way, and so is Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles. Every day leading up to the closing date for entries this coming Friday, one of their seven celebrities will share their tips in the Tropica Beach Preparation Guide. Today is Maurice Page. The Tropica Beach Preparation Guide. Exercise with Maurice Page. Hold up steadily. If you've been lazy and you're leaving for the beach tomorrow, suddenly doing 600 push-ups isn't going to help. If you're simply not ready, then tell everyone that it's for a major foam roll. Though if you don't actually have a big roll, it's terrible for your self-respect. If you have managed to build up steadily, flaunt it, baby. Remember, you've only got three days left to purchase a Tropica pack and enter. The deadline is midnight this Friday, the 30th of September, and here's how. is back. Are you ready to join South Africa's hottest celebrities in the Seychelles and become a TV star? Host Mini Lamini and Games Master Jonathan Boyton Lee want you to be part of one of seven smooth teams led by seven celebrities who will all compete for a million rand prize. Who will you choose? MT, Jessica Ngosi, Anga Makubalo, Carleen van Jaspelt, Maurice Page, Zakia Patel or Sivan Gezi. All you have to do is purchase a Tropica and follow the instructions on pack. Visit tropica.co.za for more details and follow the conversation online using hashtag TIOT7.